Okay, being on black folks and bear with me because basically we'll put the magnifier up and you watch the magnetical lines as I and as you see, I don't want that there, and as you see how fast they let this play, they're blocking. Now number one, they're blocking the magnetical and they're blocking this object here. And we're gonna zoom in on this, and there's basically along this magnetical line here. Now the most key thing is we're on stereo behind H12. And now when I put the magnifier up, my pointer will worth work worth the crap. So what you're gonna want to do is watch the magnetical line right here. And then that white box thing's going to blink in, too. And they don't really block what I think they're trying to block here, too. Now, everybody's going to say, well, that's that's uh, Venus and Mercury. No, it's not. Because Mercury can't be this big on this shot. And I'll show you the maps right now. Hang on a second here. And remember, we're on stereo behind H12, okay? Now, remember, at a head, we played the video. And basically, we knew that this is Venus. And this is not, absolutely not, mer Mercury there. We figure Mercury is down farther also, okay? So go watch my videos just before this. And basically, yeah, I had some information, and we're going to keep jabbing away until I get what I want. I'm going to keep showing you the absolute truth about the moon, okay? Uh, and basically, it's all for any, everybody in the military, too, because the military always wants the truth, so that the idea is that... Whoever's in charge is never lying to his troops. Okay, the actual factual truth. Want the absolute truth of what's going on. Okay, and we keep looking for the data and we make sure we bitch when it gets scrubbed and on this and that or whatever. Okay, so remember this is a head. Okay, but let me just go ahead and show you a map. No matter what, when you're looking from B, Venus and Mercury would be in a shot. But as you see, Mercury would not be that large because it's so far, it's the farthest away from these. Now, when you look at A, you'll see how big Venus is and Mercury is. Okay, basically, pretty much in this shot here, in this gray shot, no matter what, that's Venus. And it looks up large because it's so darn close to the camera because we're on ahead, okay? But now, when we go back to looking at our footage on the B shot, which is going to be there, it's going to be behind Okay, since it's not at the ACE camera, a head is usually called ACE, what the military ends up calling it, okay? Any branch, okay? So the idea that on B behind, and now they're going to be putting more satellites up too, okay? So I can't wait to get those shots. And we should get to see them right away. Uh, there should be no holding off. We taxpayers, we should be able to see this. Now on B, it's so damn far away, there's no way that this stuff that's on this shot here can be that. Now remember, it's this, that's that damn large and whatever there is that damn large too. Now we're going to see in a minute because I'll put the magnifier up. If you can see the magneticals. So no matter what, behind the sun, behind the sun, behind the sun people, that means behind the sun, somewhere here, somewhere in this, it could even be here, but between here and here, Somewhere behind the sun, this stuff is, and it's not Venus and Mercury that we're seeing those big, large objects, and they have magneticals on it. So, and if you go to JPL, you'll also know that everything's over this way. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, everything that we know of is over here. The only thing that can be over there is Mars. That's the absolutely only thing, but there's two objects. So when we're at stereo behind H12, don't get me wrong, Venus and Mercury could be in this, but it would be up high, and it'd be way the hell far away. And yeah, they can zoom in like crazy. So then what, the military is trying to show off how badass our cameras are? They do. But as you see, they're blocking. They want to block this. So more than likely, odds, flip a coin, that should be Mars. Okay? And whatever the hell this is, is a discovery. Okay? And it's behind. We're behind the sun. Okay? Stereo behind, and that is not Venus and Mercury, okay? And as you see, they're putting a blocker in. They don't want you to see it, okay? But you can see it right there. You can't miss it, and it's huge, and the sun's hitting it, so you know it's behind the sun. This this is your behind the sun shot, and then this is not, absolutely not, Venus and Mercury, and that could be Mars. Either one of them could be Mars. It doesn't really matter. And sure, whatever's closest to the sun is going to look larger, they could be the same damn size. There's a hell of a lot of distance between here and there. So anyway, we get, this, we get the magnifier up so that you know that what we're looking at is what we're looking at. And we'll zoom in on it. And basically, you can just kind of move away because basically we should be big enough right here to show you the actual factual. That actual factual, there's a planet, and there's a magnetical line, and there's a planet, and there's a magnetical line. Now, more than likely, this is... 
And as you see, they just didn't do a good enough job blocking. Thank you, everybody in the branch, in the military. So anyway, on one shot, somebody in command is saying, put a cover up on there. Now, I do know that there was a Marine down there in charge. You're doing a very good job. I love everything you're doing. So keep letting us not see anything. But anyway, we can see this. We just got lucky because his employees screwed up. Somebody's going to get a demotion. But anyway, don't, don't worry. If you get demoted for doing your job, then you got recourse and you'll probably get promoted again eventually. The liars are basically in charge and they're probably going to get fired eventually. So anyway, but no matter what, we love whoever's in charge and whatever's going on right now. And hopefully I can play that at that large size. But if not, if we can't, just remember the magnetical lines I'm telling you about. And we've seen the objects. So that stuff is there. So there's a planet. There's something back there. And if not, then we're seeing possibly footage of whatever we've been finding that's coming along. So as so I hit this, you can see the magnetical lines. So follow the lines. No matter what, there's an object over here to the left on this magnetical line to the left. And there's also where they're blocking on the right. You can't miss what they're blocking. And as I move down, I get out of the 300. And even at small, you can see that that's there. And there's something here along this line here, on this magnetical line there. So, basically, if you count your planets, either that, or for some damn reason, we've got Saturn and Mars in this shot, and why aren't they showing us on the map that you can see it on behind? Because right now, we're not supposed to be able to see them on behind, okay? I.e., go back to the map I showed you. That's straight from NASA, and they always update it, okay? Remember, don't get confused. This is Ace ahead. Ahead is Ace. That is Venus and Mercury. Okay, Venus and Mercury is basically down here somewhere that we showed you in the video. That if you watch the other one, we're wondering what this is. And also, remember it's astronomical miles out there. And this is today's map right down here. Okay, it's right along with the picture. It's today's map, so you know that from behind, that is absolutely not Venus and Mercury that's in that shot. Okay. Either that or we're showing off how much we can zoom our cameras in, our satellites in. Man, if we can do that in space, what can our spy satellites do? So, yep, nothing gets by our, the U.S. military's eyes. So anyway, now I can't remember if it was A or B. I think both A and B, we only got 12 hours yesterday. One of them, we only got 12 hours, okay? So now we get to zoom in on this stuff today. So as you know, and you can see the time and the clock going by, now I'm going to basically zoom in, and we will see what we've got out there. And sometimes I'll miss something when looking at it, but number one thing is we're checking that out there. So, and that pretty much should be the sun. It's supposed to be the biggest thing. And then we can see where Mars should be. And as we can zoom in on it, we should be able to see it. Now, remember, like I say, deducting-wise, this should be Saturn there. And when we zoom back out, and if you even go back and freeze the deal, you'll be able to see the whole thing of Maruga. Now let, let's go in and get our 999 on this and get a good view because then I can still use a pointer. Now remember, watch all the videos I've been showing you what's going in here and there and on footage and everything like that. We're showing you all the shots and trying to explain as much as we can as where the angles and how to find this stuff. Okay. So no matter what, we've got our sun at a huge distance off there. Okay, no matter what, there is something that's rotating around it fast. Okay, so and I've showed you on plenty of, and I'll bring up a shot of, I think, Lasco 2 to show you that there are huge stuff that's up, remnants and everything that's up by the sun. So basically, we're getting a very good view at the sun. As you can see, that this here is rotating around, and that's a magnetical. Okay, so that's a planet. Okay, now is that Mars? Does Mars rotate that damn fast? We don't believe so, okay? Now, we've known for a long time that there's something that rotates the sun. Now, no matter what, by deduction, you know that when we, when we go to zoom back out, you're going to know what shot we're at and everything like that. And I can't point any more worth of crap when we get zoomed in like this with the magnifier. So no matter what, that's your sun up there. And if not, holy crap, huh? Now, that's through a satellite lens, a satellite uh, solar panel, excuse me, that it gets, uh, and it's wild the way the sun looks there, that almost everybody's going, oh my God, it looks like Earth. No, it's, the sun is not some hidden rogue planet giving us radiation and giving us light. 
Okay, the sun is the sun. Now, that one physicist died and said that there was th uh, three three suns, three stars. So then the idea there could be a star on the back side of this because we've seen spinners that rotate around the sun and as you can see right here there's no planet that spins as fast as that magnetic line there that goes around the sun that's a planet that we know of okay so no matter what that should be a star that spins around the sun okay and there may be another star on the other side and it sure kind of looks like it if I just freeze right here and not even move the, the cursor on the right hand side of the sun there you can see a magnetical line very faint but then there's huge distances because the sun is the largest thing that we know in the Van Allen Belt area near to us, near the sun. So basically, we'll just pop up a little bit here on the magnifier as much as we can and get a real good as much as we can in here. And that's the sun, ladies and gentlemen. So, and then navy, and then you can see there's more than one star. Okay, so actual factual. Bino is the first one to publicly show you guys that the actual factual, that there the sun has way more than one star to it that gives us light okay and it's stuck in a belt it's stuck in a umbilical cord out there in space okay and we've shown that by blowing up on the last ghost shots and everything like that so as I move left you still get the sun and the magnifier is just there and then that's the sun ladies and gentlemen and then we zoom out we'll go slowly so that you understand that we're not playing no games on you go out and then we'll get rid of the magnifier so just drop it down and then we'll drop down on size I'll even well I'm gonna go to just boom 400 and there we were and now I'll go to like a 150 shot and there we are at all this stuff out in space now remember if you count all your planets and then you pay attention to what I was showing you in the earlier footage there's some stuff that's behind the Sun as you can see from a we get Venus and Mercury right now in the shot now, as we are shooting here from A, as you can see, when they zoom out, they can get a lot of stuff. Now, they're wanting to see stuff because we're finding stuff, and they've got a comet coming, okay? Now, as you can also see, you got this here action going on farther up, and that's a magnetical on. So, as you know, no matter what, okay, you got to deduct that that's a star or a planet that no matter what, if, even if it's there, it's so damn close to the sun, you wouldn't want to live there. So, even if that is Mars there, and we found the other footage that there's stuff there, back there, and then you get this idea that there's many, many suns out, stars, every star is a sun, and that's why the, all these are stars and suns way the hell off, because you can see way quadrillion uh, quantum leaps in space, basically astronomical distances, okay, you can see huge areas out in space, as you see they zoom back, and on this they get these shots, but the, when they're zoomed in, they're only supposed to pick up what's behind B, and if you, as you know, as we shot, showed you the other footage, that we have stuff. Now let's go ahead and back over as count your planets. And remember, Neptune, Venus, Uranus, and Pluto, and everything like that are out here. Remember, Saturn's the most important one. I think that's the one that we'd end up... That's the architecture. we got to get over there and live over by Saturn. Okay? There's tons of moons on Saturn to live on. Plenty of real estate. Nice and safe away from the sun. See? Good distance from the sun, just like Earth. Okay? So let's go up and see what we've got going on here, too, in the, on the satellite. Now, with physics, physicists, we can find out what planet or what star or sun that this is. And no, it's not Cyrus. I really doubt that this is Cyrus up here to the left, okay? If anything, that's Antares that we've been seeing in our footage that we've seen from Lasco. And basically, I can show you on that, too, that more than likely, since it's a far away shot and the, the size of this stuff, that it should not be... But it still could possibly be, since it's in a headshot. It could be Venus and Mercury, but I really kind of doubt it. Not in this shot, the shot I'm going to show you, okay? But no matter what, we've got a sun that's way the hell over here. That's not with the sun down way over here. And it's not, and you can do a physics, with scientific phys, physics, in physics, you can figure out the distance and angles and everything here with you've got all the planets and you've got the size of that solar panel and you can judge and get an actual of there's got to be some sun like the sun way the hell up here to the left okay and you can figure out some kind of a distance and nail down which sun or star that should be okay with that solar panel with doing your proportional integral derivatives and just normal physics okay equations okay math 
Okay, so we slide across here, and as you see, we got all of our.